Now, our next guest has been dubbed the Kiwi Health Detective. Kim Knight spent two decades searching for answers to her chronic fatigue, clinical depression and other ailments as well. Now, she found them and for the past 11 years, she's been helping others. Morning, Kim. Morning. Really nice to have you with us. So you tried nearly 200 therapies. I mean, what was the solution for you? Well, it was really understanding that illness is not a mistake and that we have to look at a multiple factors such as the stress, emotions, what's happened to us in our childhood, our lifestyle, our habits, and also really understanding that we don't treat or heal illness, we heal a person. So we have to look at that whole person's life and, and put all the pieces of the puzzle together and then we can work out what's causing the problem. So just quickly for people who may not know, what is chronic fatigue? It's extreme debilitating fatigue where you look normal but you're absolutely exhausted. You just simply can't get out of bed. You can't do the normal things like making a meal, driving a car, going shopping. You're just absolutely exhausted and, and you don't really know why. And it's every day and ongoing. Ongoing. That must be extremely de debilitating. So what, well, who could benefit from what you learned? Anybody who is wanting to understand why am I always tired? Because for me, it built up over a period of nine months, slowly, 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 until I just, I just walked into work and, and quit one day. So it's about, uh, you know, if anybody has a problem and they don't, they don't know what the cause is, and they've tried multiple different approaches and they're still not getting an answer, then we need to take a different approach. Because sometimes people just think, oh, well, this is just my lot. I'm just obviously very tired at the moment. I'm very, I'm very stressed or I've got a lot on. Yes, that's right, and we get used to it, but actually it's not normal. So how do we know if our chronic pain or, or our fatigue or our depression is actually caused by emotions or stress? Well, in my experience, I would say we need to take it as red, that it that actually it is. is. <laughs> yeah. And for example, Candice Pert, who's a neuroscientist, she proved and, and wrote about it in her book, Molecules of Emotion, that stress and emotions cause a cellular change at a biochemical level. Well, they do, and they've, they've now, of course, talked about the fact that the gut is so affected by your stress and your emotions as well, isn't it? Yes, but it's what actually causes the gut to go out of balance at the first place. It comes back to the stress and the emotions and the habits and the lifestyle. So what then would be your top five tips for staying on top of that stress or those negative emotions okay so the first thing is we have to become aware because often we're not I certainly was until I, until I became aware then we have to decide that we want to do something about it uh, we have to become aware of what I call uh, internal external stressors and there's a difference write down all our stresses everything that we can become aware of and then we actually have to do something about it what's the difference between internal and external so an internal is all our internal habits our thoughts our habits our ways of thinking, how we deal with emotions, uh, whether we're always running late for appointments, whether we're back to backing appointments, everything that we do to ourself and the external is anything that might happen in our life like somebody rings up and says well I can't come, I can't make our appointment today and that creates a stress response. Okay so number four, write your stress list and number five, take appropriate action to reduce and clear your stress. Absolutely. And interestingly you were saying too that bullying can lead to chronic illness later in life. It is a huge cause uh, again and again and again I see that mistreatment, people being mistreated, not being able to stand up for themselves, it builds up stress and emotions and trauma. It has to be dealt with. So we really have to deal with it all. Well yes. that's been some really fascinating advice Kim. Mm. Thank you so much. You. Uh, and if you want tips and strategies for staying calm this silly season, look for 12 days to a stress-free Christmas on Kim's website. It is normally $150 but it is free for a limited time. Now it's over to Holly.